Hey guys, Novacast here, and today I'm finally bringing to you the Infection Camping Spots video part 2. In this video, I'll be showing you insane new camping spots that I found with my friends. These spots completely blow my other video out of the water, so I hope you enjoy. And also, my friends did contribute to this video. They provided multiple clips, and their links will be in the description. Raydog and Wire and Then Die have provided clips for this video, so go drop them a sub. Mud, their links are in the description, and oh yeah, I just got to kill Tacular as a zombie. Let's go. Alright, let's get right into the video. First up, we have Malignant. Round one. So what you want to do on this map is you want to either grab the DMR or the pistol. That's the first step. The DMR is located down here. It's by this car and it's really well hidden. Not a lot of people know where the DMR spawns. All right, so if you want to grab the DMR, you want to go down there or you can grab the Magnum, which is located right here. And now you want to jump on this little crate right here and jump and Gandhi hop up to the top. You don't have to zoom in. And you can actually jump up to this little platform up here and crouch in this corner. I found this spot to be really cool, and now I'm the last man standing. I'll let the clip roll. Next up, we have the crypt. So first off, what you want to do on this map is you want to run to the light rifle spawn. I found that the light rifle is the best means of survival on this map. The light rifle spawn is on this middle bridge right here. You can pick it up, and then this is the first spot I'll be showing you. I actually don't have any clips for the spot, but I just found it to be really cool. Jump on this little platform, and you can jump and zoom and grab onto this little platform right here. So there's one more spot I want to show you, but this spot is a good vantage point. You can see zombies all over the map. And the second spot is actually over here. It's in the same uh, platform. You can jump onto this rock over here, and then there's this tiny rock in the corner over here and you can jump a little bit higher. Over here, I don't have any clips either because these spots are really tough to get clips on. If any of you get clips, please send me the links in the description. I'll be happy to check them out. And lastly, a really good spot to camp out is over here by these rocks. You have loads of vantage points. The zombies can come at you in three directions, but it's completely manageable. And I have a clip for this video. I will let the clip roll. 30 seconds. I also have a very cool tactic of being last man standing. This was discovered by a wire on the die. It was probably discovered by a lot of other people before us, but I found this works really well. You can actually jump up here on top of this little rock up here, and then you can drop down into these lights and it's really hard to be seen by the zombies. And most of the time you can be last man standing. And then when you're last man standing, you can just pop out right here. Next up, we have RIP Tide. So first off, what you want to do on this map is actually run to the DMR spawn or the CE Magnum spawn. The DMR is located right here on the wall and the CE Magnum is actually located up there in that corner. I'm shooting at it. And what you want to do is actually run over here and jump into this lift right here. And if you jump onto the lift perfectly and you stabilize, you can actually thrust her onto this little ledge right here and you can jump up a little bit higher. Now you want to be careful because the zombies can get you from both sides and I found that if you like slide to the side a little bit then the zombies can't get you from one side but they can get you from the other and then you can focus on the sides more. It's up to you honestly and now I'm the last man standing I'll have to clip roll. 
So another little spot I found, actually most people know about this spot, it's just that I think it's a pretty good spot and I just haven't hit any clips here but I feel like loads of people could hit clips here. What you want to do is actually jump on this ledge up here and then jump up onto this ledge up here and then there's this tiny little curve thing that you can jump up onto so the zombies can't get you from the little bars in the ledge below you and yeah you can get the zombies. Next up we have Black Friday. As always, the rocket launcher is crucial to your survival on this map. What you want to do is grab the rocket launcher, which is over here. I do have no idea why it's a rail gun. In multiplayer, it's actually a rocket launcher. I'm very confused. But whatever, let's imagine that this rail gun is a rocket launcher. And what you want to do is run under these stairs over here and run to the CE Magnum spawn. If you guys know where the CE Magnum spawn is on this map, it's actually on this little crate right here. You can jump, crouch, and thruster to get on top. And if you have the rocket launcher, you can basically destroy any zombies trying to get to you. Alright, so I'll let the clip roll. Next up, we have Station Zulu. Alright, on this map what you want to do is run through this little room right here and pick up the Magnum which is right here. And you want to go up the lift and go to these little crates over here. If you jump off the edge of the crate, you can actually clamber onto the very edge of this structure right here. You want to hit the corner on the jump. You jump, stabilize, and thrust here, and you can get up top. And if you turn on toggle crouch, then the zombies actually can't hit you from the backside over here, and you can just kind of nade them. And yeah, you have a good vantage point. Okay, I'll let the clip roll. Another neat spot we found on this map is actually over here. It's by the casual spawn where everyone caps out on this map, but it's actually not that. It's this little room onto the side of it. Everyone usually camps right here and it's really annoying, but actually you can come over here. I know it's really easy to be seen, but if you come here later in the game and the zombies don't know where you are, you can do really well. All right, I'll let wire on the dice clip roll. One minute left. Next up, we have my new favorite map, Backwoods. Round one. On Backwoods, you either want to go towards the DMR spawn or the Magnum spawn. The Magnum spawn is located over here, I'm running towards it right now. And once you get to the Magnum spawn, there's this really nifty trick you can do to get, a, get to a very high ledge. So this is Magnum Spawn right here. You can actually pick up the Magnum and jump onto these little loot crates right here. Once you jump onto these loot crates, you can jump off the very edge and land in that V over there. To get to the V, you run, jump, thrusters, stabilize, and ground pound into the V. On this V, you jump onto the little rod above you and you can actually jump onto the ledge in front of, it, in front of me, right here. And this spot's amazing. Oh my God, I've gotten so many multi kills here. All right, I'll let the clip roll. Kill 
Another spot I found on this map is actually jumping on the rock by the sniper spawn over here and jumping up to another rock up here and you can actually jump across to the giant rocks over here. And this spot is 100% original and it's a very tough jump. I found that stabilizing makes it a lot easier, stabilizing and Gandhi hopping a little bit. And yeah, I'll let the clip roll. Man, stand. Next up, we have Drill Sight. What you actually want to do on Drill Sight is either pick up the Magnum or the DMR. The Magnum is located right here, and the DMR is actually very secluded, and a lot of people don't know where it's located. It's actually located up these stairs off spawn in this corner over here. You can actually pick it up, and yeah, this is required. You need a precision weapon for this tactic to work. So now you, what you want to do is run over to this turbine over here. It's not the common turbine that people camp out. Usually people camp out over there. But you can actually hug the wall better here, and zombies don't really know to look for you. And you can do some amazing stuff in this corner once you're the last man. I'll let the clip play. Remain. Last man. Next up, we have Power Installation 484. What you actually want to do on this map is grab the rocket launcher. It's very important that you do so, otherwise this tactic won't work. The rocket launcher is located over here under this little tower building thing over here. And it's in this corridor over here behind this crate. Now once you have the rocket launcher, you actually want to run back to the DMR spawn. The DMR spawn is located over here, I'm running towards it right now. It's actually up these stairs over here in that little room over here to the left. Right here, the DMR spawn. You can actually camp up here with the rocket launchers and shoot zombies as they come in through that door. This tactic works really well. This is why I run the dice clip, I'll let it roll. Another spot on this map is directly off spawn, you run up these stairs and go into this little bridge area over here. I found that this area works good with a DMR, a precision weapon, but the assault rifle could work just as well too. It doesn't really matter. Alright, this is Raydog's clip, I'll let it roll. Trip. That's it guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. This video took me four weeks to put together. So if you enjoyed, please, please, please smash that like button. It'd be really well appreciated. And as always guys, peace out. Thanks for watching. Yeah.